Hello, Pastor Steve Waldron. I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. Glad you're with us. Check out our playlist. Amen. We are looking at a fascinating book today by Dr. Theodore Lettuce. Passed away, you know, in my earthly opinion far too soon, but God knows best. And he was a big defender of what's known as the ecclesiastical text or the Textus Receptus. Now, he had some idiosyncrasies. His thoughts and views developed over the years. This one came out in 1997. I think it was reprinted in 2000. He had a big part in seeing Pensacola Christian College convert to a King James position. So extremely scholarly, fantastically thought out. Reminds me a lot of Edward F. Hill's doctorate from Harvard. So let me read you a little bit off the back. Okay, this is a collection of essays written by Theodore Lettuce, the director of the Institute of Renaissance and Reformation Studies, over at a period of 1987 to 1997, and published in journals both popular and academic, while he was a doctoral candidate at the University of Edinburgh. Some are popular, most are other technical studies treating translation, philosophy, text criticism, and the Protestant Orthodox dogmatic traditions of the 17th century. It also contains four important book reviews and two additional appendices. In these essays, Lettuce presents a rigorous defense of the use of the Textus Receptus over the various critical texts which have been heavily used since the time of B.B. Warfield. Lettuce challenges the prevailing notion that biblical authority is to be found in the original autographs of Scripture by demonstrating a theological shift in the later 19th and the early 20th centuries, and consequently arguing that authority is to be found in the agographa, or the text preserved in the church. So he's got all kinds of stuff in here, like he's talking to Dr. Brevard Childs of Yale Divinity School, an assessment, I'll show you this, of the King James Version only controversy. It's always humorous to me when people say, well, James White has disproven people who prefer or like the King James. And I'm like, it's odd reading his book convinced me the King James was totally correct because I had read some other books uh, such Pete Ruckman and Gail Ripplinger and I wanted to do a counterpoint so reading White's book convinced me he had nothing compared to uh, those two scholars and uh, those two scholars not always right and a lot of people have picked on them and all this but just be, if somebody's wrong on seven points in a book and they make you know 300 points in a book what do you do with the 293 other points in the book so this is really good made in the usa columbia south carolina july 2nd 2021 i guess it's print on demand uh, page 277 so it's got 277 pages and so whether you like the King James or not, you owe it to yourself to really um, look at this. This is what's in here. Because uh, a lot of people say, well, KJVO people, as they derisively call them, um, don't know anything. And I'm like, well, have you read Hills? Have you read D.A. Waite, who's got two legitimate PhDs, one from, I think, Purdue in Biblical Languages and a PhD from Dallas Theological Seminary? I'm like, yeah, you really aren't, don't know what you're talking about. And amongst many others, even Jack Mormon does enormous amounts of research, as does Lawrence Vance. So this is a great book put out by Just Center Publishing House. Um, again, regardless of where you fall on the spectrum, you owe it to yourself to read this. It's like when uh, David Otis Fuller's books first started coming out. People hated those things, and then he came out with a tract. I think it's five renowned Greek scholars changed their views because after they got through ridiculing him and looked at the evidence, they realized that that the received text was where it was at, and then the King James Version is an accurate translation of the received text. God bless you. Just love Jesus. We're here maybe in the end time. You don't want to change your sword in the midst of the 
of the battle. Not saying don't use other translations. Use them like commentaries. Kind of figure out what the text is saying. But God is good. Keep the old King James. Keep the old sword, as Ian Paisley said. I think he wrote a book about that. God bless. We love you. Talk to you later. Again, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Pray for us. Amen.